All right, well, welcome back. This is the third of eight videos uh, on chapter one. And what we're doing during this particular video is we're getting into some of the basics of risk management, differentiating it between information and security. And we're going to talk about some key uh, security terms and principles. So again, pretty short video uh, focused on some key components. You'll also learn as part of this the McCumber Cube, and you'll see why that's important. So let's start with that differentiation. So here we have the goal for risk management uh, listed. And as you note, it's tied to business value. So what we're trying to do is maximize our output while minimizing the chance for unexpected outcomes. Whereas the goal of information security is tied back to the confidentiality, integrity, availability, and accountability of organizational resources. So a very different approach associated uh, with the two different mechanisms. And while you uh, continue to see most organizations having an information security office, you're beginning to see more and more organizations having a risk management office as well. And there being tight collaboration between the two because they do cross over. All right, let's get into some key definitions now. So confidentiality is this uh, characteristics that only if you have sufficient privilege and a demonstrated need can you access certain information. In other words, and this ties to can you read or see the information? It's not associated with changing the information. It's not associated if it's available. It's not associated with who did what to whom. It's just can you read the information? And as you might imagine, if you've got medical records out there, if you've got financial records out there, uh, you may want to keep that information private. Now, privacy is slightly different, but it is related closely with confidentiality. Integrity is can you change the information? So it's talking about uh, keeping the information where it's whole, complete, and uncorrupted, but it's associated with changing. So uh, if you want to think about action verbs, confidentiality is can I read it? Integrity is can I change it? And then that third term, availability, is can I get to it? It's the characteristic of information that people can access the information in a usable format without interference or obstruction. Okay, so again, a quick recap. Confidentiality, can I read it? Integrity, can I change it? Availability, can I get to it? And then the final characteristic is this idea of accountability. Accountability is if, if someone performs an action, we can trace it back to that person. Um, and then if you have accountability, uh, that allows you to protect your information systems because you're able to account who did what to whom. When we look at those characteristics, we need to protect them in three different states. And so that state could be in transit. That's, that's when it's being electronically moved between different systems. In process, while, while it's being used by a particular system or application. And then finally, at rest. This is typically when it's stored somewhere either in, you know, your hard drive, a backup tape, or a database somewhere. And so, as we're looking at confidentiality, integrity, availability, accountability, we want to protect it while it is in transit, in process, and at risk. And as we're looking at those, we're going to use three different tools. So you can see the kind of characteristics listed over there on the left, confidentiality, integrity, availability, uh, they did not include accountability, but it, it, it's there. Just imagine it's there. Uh, across the bottom, they've got those three different stages, storage, processing, and transmitting. And that arrow in the middle on the left-hand side of the screen, that's going to be the three tools that within information security that you're going to use. So policy, education, training, and awareness, and then technology. And policy is just letting people know uh, what they're, you know, what's normal within the organization, what's not normal in the organization, and what do you do when something not normal occurs. Uh, that education piece is training people on the technology, training people on the policy, making sure they're aware of it, um, making sure they know what to do. Uh, and then finally, the technology piece is making sure you've got the right technology components together. And so if you're looking at any of the, the kind of classical uh, attacks or even non-classic attacks, you can generally map them into this cube and look at the different components that are being affected within a, uh, a, a particular uh, type of attack. 
All right, well, very good. So I, I talked about attacks, and I've talked about uh, this underlying model of, uh, of uh, confidentiality, integrity, availability, um, accountability of storage processing and transmitting, and then of uh, this idea of uh, policy education and technology being um, the three tools you use to address it, this McCumber Cube. What we're going to do now is um, go into an in-class exercise, and this is in the middle of the video, so you can take as much time as you want, but I do want you to go to this website, so HTTP, www.informationisbeautiful.net, and go into their visualizations uh, folder and look at the world's biggest data breaches uh, slash hacks. And what I want you to do is uh, email me uh, three things that you learned about data breaches by visiting this site and um, uh, uh, learning about the different types of uh, attacks and hacks that are out there. Again, the more uh, profound and insightful you are, the more points you get, but there are no points associated. This is all for pride, but do email me, go out and look at that. And what we're going to do next class is move into some of the design principles that underlie security and risk management systems. So that's it for this particular class. I hope you've enjoyed uh, going through the basic definitions of information security and risk management, learning a little bit about the McCumber Cube. And what we'll do again next class in the fourth of eight videos is get into design principles.